So in October of 2024, UiPath have updated or refreshed exams for both their developer certifications. And inside of a week, I decided to take both of them. So the UiPath certification program consists of about 10 certifications, I think now. Two of them are in the developer track. There's the associate level, which is the easier certification, and then the professional uh, level certification, which is a lot more difficult. Um, I took both levels about three years ago when they were called also the uh, associate level certification, and then it was called the advanced level certification back then. And I took both of them that back then. I thought it was time to refresh those exams. Uh, they did have a couple of years left on them, I think until October of 26, but I thought it was time. And also, I'm a UiPath MVP, and <laughs> I'm not saying that to brag, but um, as an MVP, you, d you do get some goodies sometimes. And some of the goodies that I got this year were some certification vouchers. So I had two vouchers that were just sitting around and that would expire last Sunday. So I thought, why not just book a couple of exams and see if I pass? So I booked the associate level certification for the Sunday before last, and then the professional level certification for this past Sunday. I didn't prepare much for them. Um, I work with UiPath daily, even on weekends, uh, and, and I, I thought I was very well equipped to take these exams. Uh, I passed the previous versions comfortably. I think my scores were in the 90s, even high 90s. Um, so I, I thought, yeah, I can, I can do this. I got this. Yeah, uh, I'll get back to that. Um, as I said, I'm a UiPath MVP, and the MVP program comes with a lot of goodies. And in fact, right now and until I think it's sometimes early next week, November 24th, you can still apply to become an MVP. And I pulled up the uh, MVP criteria page here, and I'll leave the link to that in the description below. But if you think you make a good contribution in some way to the UiPath community, make sure you apply to become a UiPath MVP. It's a, it's like a, a very tightly knit community within the larger community, um, but I would really highly recommend it for anyone who is involved in the community. So check out this page and, and consider applying to become an MVP. The two certifications, of course, they are very different. Uh, one is aimed at beginner developers who want to sort of test their skills against a test like this. And it's a good test. I, I, I really think it is. Uh, I don't think certifications, you know, themselves are worth anything. It's just a piece of paper. Well, it's not even a piece of paper anymore. It's just a, this is a JPEG. <laughs> uh, but um, for me, it's a good milestone. It's, it's just a, a good test for me to see, am I at the level that I want to be at. And if I fail a certification test, and I have in the past, and I will also in the future, uh, I'll study for it and prepare more and practice more. And if I pass them, then I'm fairly comfortable. You know, I, yeah. So um, the uh, associate level certification is fairly easy. It's for beginners. You don't have to have a lot of experience, but you do need to have worked with Studio uh, in, in order to pass the test. The uh, professional level certification is a lot more difficult. It covers more stuff in greater detail, and I mean greater, 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 I mean in incredible detail. You will need to know the names of arguments and data types and stuff like that. It, it really uh, goes, uh, goes deep. Now, was it obvious to me that the um, version had been refreshed in the test? So that before October, it was based on 22.10, now it's 23.10. Was it very obvious that that had changed? No. In fact, I've forgotten more or less what the changes were between those two versions. I, I'm i an early adopter. I always switch to the new, newest version. So I've been working with 23.10 right up to the 24 versions were released. So I don't think there was a big difference. I. I still think it's a shame that on the, the certification website, the practice tests are still 22.10 and not 23.10, on, like on the, the actual tests. But it doesn't make a big, big difference. Are there any bad things about the tests? No, I, I don't think so, really. Yeah, may, maybe there are some questions that they ask where, where I think, you know, does it really matter if I know this or not? I mean, I could Google that in, in a split second. Uh, I guess you could with most things, but there are some things that I only do once in a blue moon. I mean, every six months or so, why do I need to know the nitty gritty, itty bitty details of, of that question? It doesn't make sense to me. Um, 
But in general, I think the questions on this test or both of those tests were a lot better. Now, I am not a native English speaker, so I know some of the pitfalls of not being a native English speaker. And I can also almost always tell if something is written by a native English speaker. And I don't think these tests are. And in the past, I think there have been questions that just plain didn't make sense. This, this, the, the wording, um, just really, I'm not going to say bad English, but they've been worded in a way that could easily be misunderstood. And so basically, even, I mean, sometimes I would read a question and I'd be like, what the hell are they talking about? And other times I would read a question and say, oh, I know the answer to that. And then the answer that was obvious to me in my head was not in the answer options. That was not the case this time. I think the quality uh, of the questions, of the wording, of the, the clarity of the questions, what's the intent of a question and, and what are the answer uh, options was just a lot, a lot better than it has been in the past. So um, kudos to the, to the UiPath certification team for that. I think it, it was needed and it happened. So I'm very, very happy with it. So how did I do on these tests? Well, let's start with the associate level certification. I passed it and I passed it even comfortably. I scored an 83, the passing score is 70. And I think when I look at the um, different um, sections of the test, I think that this aligns very well with how I perceive my knowledge to be. So for example, PDF automation, I scored a whopping 0% on that. I don't do any PDF automation. I do document understanding automation where I read PDF documents, but I don't use any of the PDF activities ever. Version control, integration service, business knowledge, those are also definitely my weak points and the test actually correctly reflects that. And then some of the things that I scored really well on, UI automation, Excel, email, libraries, templates, uh, methodology, orchestrator, studio interface. I know those things like the back of my hand and the test reflects that uh, I think I scored very well in those sections. So looking back and looking at the results, I think that test actually reflects who I am as a developer. Thumbs up for that UI path. Let's move on to the professional exam. I did pass it. I scored a 75, which is not, I mean, it's not a high score. <laughs> as I said, I think I passed the, the last, the advanced uh, certification three years ago, something like a 93 or 95. And I thought I would pass this one comfortably as well. Mm, I did fail some of the practice tests on the, on the website, but I think that's basically because I didn't, you know, I didn't really make that much of an effort. I would do it while I was watching TV. I would complete a 60 question test in like 26 minutes or something like that. So I wasn't really making an effort. I'm sure I could have passed those if I really wanted to. So I went into the, uh, the actual test on Sunday thinking, hmm, this could go both ways. And I think 75, that's probably like three questions away from failing or three or four questions away from failing the test. And I wouldn't have liked that at all. If we look at the different uh, sections, there are not as many sections here, but they go, I mean, they cover a lot of stuff. So uh, where I did really well was debugging, advanced UI automation and attended automation. That one doesn't make much sense because I don't do any attended automation almost. And then the rest of them, you know, they're kind of eh, 60, 70% uh, in that, in that uh, space. And that makes sense also because they cover so much stuff that some of that stuff in those sections I will know and some things I won't know. There was a lot of re-framework stuff on the test and, and you need to know your robotic enterprise framework down into the tiniest detail. Something else that really caught me off guard was testing. They ask a lot of stuff, I mean, about testing in the UiPath platform, uh, test manager, stuff like that. A lot of questions on that and I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so I'm sure that really uh, that really got to me in, in some places. But I mean, I, I did fairly well on all sections. Again, there are only what, eight or nine, nine sections or so. And some I did really well on, those make sense. And the others, mm, yeah, fair enough. And I passed it with uh, a 75. It's good enough, I think, but I wish I scored higher, of course. Now, if you want to try your luck at uh, certification, there are some discounts offered right now. First of all, there is a 50% discount on some new releases. That is only valid until December 1st. However, it means you need to purchase the voucher before 
um, December 1st, you can then use that voucher to schedule an exam after December 1st. All the details are on the Pearson View website, and I'll link, link to that in the description below. The uh, exams that are at 50% uh, right now are the infrastructure exams, the um, uh, professional level standalone part one and two exams, and then also the automation suite exams. And also the automation business analyst associate exam. That's a fairly new exam. It's also discounted at 50%. And you can use the discount code that is on the screen right now. And it is also in the description below. So you can find it down there. Also, the specialized AI professional exam is also discounted at 50% until January 21st of 2025. So I still have some time to uh, purchase uh, the voucher for that and then take the exam. I famously uh, took and failed that uh, exam last year, about around this time, in fact. So I think it's about time I give it another shot. So I highly recommend that you go out and get certified. And also, of course, as I said in the beginning, if you are a contributor in the community in some way, make sure you apply to become a UiPath Community MVP for 2025. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot. Subscribe to the channel. That means a hell of a lot. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or if you have requests for videos, leave those in the comments below. I try to respond quickly when I see them. So uh, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.